What did you think of this, this debate? You Obviously, I, you I, must know. I thought the debate was very well done. And Alan Dershowitz did a superb job in defending the Constitution and due process. And his remarks about how CNN distorted his views and he was going to sue them was, and then he was challenged by uh, Mr. Schuman saying that was wrong. And when he had the actual quote that was distorted, and then he asked Bob, would you re read that? And he put the book down and, and said no. The point was, I thought Dershowitz made the case, defended it, and it was all based upon the Constitution, what impeachment was about. And again, uh, I give uh, Alan a five-star event tonight. Now, for people who don't know, how many years did you serve in uh, L.A. County politics, in government? Well, in government, I had six years in the state legislature, three and a half years as a community college trustee, and 36 years as a supervisor for Los Angeles County. Okay. Now, uh, Bob Shrum talked about uh, Adam Schiff and how he's going to get reelected. Um, uh, th there's an expectation that in Southern California, of course, there's been gerrymandering here to, on behalf of the Democrats which is now not just a, a city or a county issue, it's, it's a, a federal issue. The Democrats gerrymandered the congressional and state legislative districts. When they created this new commission, they underhandedly had the Democrats controlling it. So basically you didn't have a fair uh, reapportionment based upon not dividing cities and keeping cities together based upon population. So here we have a small city like Burbank, that's divided. That was not supposed to be done. Schiff has part of that district, but I, I'm supporting Eric Early in that congressional race. I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope that Eric has a strong showing that people, be it Democrat, Independent, Republican, are appalled how Congressman Schiff uh, misstated or lied when he kept saying he had the information from the Russian collusion, and he had the information, and every time he never presented it, but he's still on that kick, I have the information. If you have the information, make it public and use that in your impeachment. But he didn't have that in the impeachment clause, and he didn't even have the House of Representatives vote for impeachment. It was a congressional committee, and a congressional committee doesn't have the power of the entire House. So the Speaker was wrong in that, and there should have been basically, they should have challenged this issue in the courts, and let the courts determine if executive power was utilized correctly in that situation that the president used. How were you able to govern uh, so long in a town which is primarily Democrat? I, were you a Democrat at the time? No, I was a Republican, but we were able to work together and solve many of the issues. I mean, be it on the uh, helping the foster children, emancipated youth, helping the sheriff's department, our fire department, uh, de delivering uh, community services. Uh, we were able to work together, but I'm beginning to see today that we don't have that same ability that we used to have, and I like this civ civility come back. And Rabbi was very good tonight in saying we need to be civil, and Rabbi Aaron was, was correct. Uh, but this incivility, do you see it coming from the uh, uh, Republicans towards the Democrats or liberals? No, when I was in the state legislature, uh, we had a Democrat majority, but we we worked together. And there are times that we had differences, but we were still friends in the evening. We don't have that today. And there needs to be greater relationships and not based upon caucus rule, having the speaker or the minority leader, majority leader, control the funding to their candidates because the candidates are now dependent upon the leadership and not their districts. And it's better when you're dependent upon your districts, people that you represent, than the money makers that the speaker controls telling you how to vote. That's not the American way.